in digestion, food is changed by the organs into a soluble form to be absorbed by the body. Food in the mouth is mixed with saliva. Saliva begins to dissolve the food as the teeth grind and cut it. Food is forced back into the throat, pharynx, by the tongue. Food in the pharynx stimulates the swallowing reflex. The larynx is pulled upward to meet the epiglottis and seal off the trachea. Food goes from the pharynx to the esophagus. Food moves down the esophagus by peristalsis. The peristaltic wave reaches the esophageal sphincter and food enters the stomach. The unique muscular structure of the stomach breaks up the food into small pieces called chyme. Chyme exits through the pyloric sphincter into the duodenum of the small intestine. The major portion of absorption and digestion occurs in the small intestine. The mucosa secrete enzymes that supplement the digestive enzymes of the pancreas and liver. This completes the chemical process of digestion. The walls are covered with villi where nutrient absorption takes place. The structure of each villus contains a capillary and lacteal to pick up the digested nutrients. The nutrients are now transported by the blood to all the cells of the body. The undigested food reaches the ileocecal valve and enters the large intestine or colon. The colon absorbs water, manufactures vitamins, produces mucus, and forms and expels feces. Mass peristalsis pushes the feces into the rectum, which stimulates the defecation reflex. About the size of your fist, the human heart is the most important muscle in the body. It can beat more than 100,000 times a day, pumping about 2,000 gallons of blood through a 60,000 mile network of vessels in the body. The human heart is made up of four major chambers, the right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, and left ventricle. The right side of the heart receives blood that is low in oxygen from veins all over the body. It then pumps the blood through the pulmonary arteries into the lungs where it will become reoxygenated. The left side of the heart receives this oxygen-rich blood from the lungs. Then it pumps the blood through the aorta back out to the rest of the body through a complex network of arteries, arterioles, and capillaries. While blood is circulating through the body, it delivers oxygen and nutrients to tissue through the capillaries and at the same time picks up carbon dioxide and other waste material. The veins return the deoxygenated blood to the right atrium and the cycle begins again. The heart has four valves. Each valve is like a one-way door that keeps the blood in the heart flowing in the same direction. The valves are made up of two or three small but strong flaps of tissue called leaflets. Leaflets open to allow blood to flow through the valve and close to prevent blood from flowing backward. The opening and closing of the valves is controlled by blood pressure changes within each heart chamber. The tricuspid valve is positioned in the heart's right side between the right atrium and right ventricle. The pulmonic valve separates the right ventricle from the pulmonary artery. The mitral valve is positioned in the heart's left side between the left atrium and the left ventricle. And the aortic valve separates the left ventricle from the aorta.